Good morning, I'm Charles Fellows and welcome to today's vlog. Today is day number 25 of my challenge to do 30 vlogs in 30 days. Um, I'm currently in uh, Pays de Gex, uh, in a little uh, town called Sissy, visiting family for a couple of weeks over the, the summer. Um, that is about 15-20 uh, minutes drive from Geneva. Uh, we've come out here to do a bit of exploring. Uh, Victoria, my wife, is going across to Zurich today to speak um, about um, her uh, her role as a talent strategist um, at the IMN for Zurich. Um, today, the subject that I want to speak about, which continues along the theme of solutions um, for problems, um, is about trial and error as an approach. So each day this week, we're going to be looking at different uh, different approaches we can um, apply to uh, to helping to find and identify solutions to um, a whole host of different problems that people might have um, with their um, with their business in their business or in their in their everyday lives. So the um, approach of solutions that I'm going to look at today is trial and error. Um, now we've all done it at some point or another. But the way that I see it is that it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a botch job. Um, quite often we would say um, trial and error. Well, if if something's never been done before, you just have to try something, see how it see how it works. Um, to a certain extent, that is true. But I think we need to combine it with a couple of other different um, techniques so that we can minimise the risk of it happening, and also that we can actually get a um, a good solution as opposed to uh, an acceptable solution. So trial and error. Well, why why would somebody do that? Um, you, the, the result of trial and error is that um, you will probably go through some failure. You will go through an iterative process where you try something, you need to react and tweak it, you try it again, and on it goes. Um, now, if trial and error is done, is done privately on a tiny, small scale, you could probably get away with it. As soon as it becomes public, um, then it's not really ideal because it doesn't uh, it doesn't make you come across quite as professionally. That you know you've you people will remember the times before when it didn't really work and you just you just kind of tried something out on them and uh, it didn't really work to their favor and then you try it again and when you eventually do get it right um, you wouldn't want them really looking back and judging you and saying oh I remember the days when they when they botched um, what they were doing for me um, you know looking at uh, looking at other other problem that somebody might uh, might have in their business, for example, say it's the 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 supply chain where they're looking at um, you know getting their inventory, getting things coming across to them, um, getting uh, say a product delivered so that they can feed it out to their clients. Uh, if they had some problems there and they thought they'd do trial and error um, on their solution, for example, say uh, delivery, and they thought, well, we'll kind of try. Uh, me going and collecting the things rather than having them delivered across to you um, by through a postage service and then you realized hmm, that ended up using up all of my time I'm gonna have to take another approach uh, and then that uh, that works and then maybe uh, as you continue to grow that uh, that falls down so by by understanding the problem in full detail and then um, understanding what you want to achieve and what your criteria are um, actually you can plan and the need for trial and error can go right down. So I hope this is an interesting insight for today. Um, I'm keeping this brief and um, I would love to hear any of your um, thoughts on um, solutions for problems. Uh, please put them in the comments below and do not please forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.